Okay, so we just ordered and this spot is so fun. So here's something that they do is they give you pork rinds, which they make fresh every day. And then they give you all of the different, different sauces. Yeah. And they let you try them all. What are your thoughts? They're all really, really yummy. I don't know if there's one that I don't like. And their dry rub on the pork rinds is also really good by itself. What do you think, babe? Yeah, it's super yummy. So they put the dry rub on the pork rind so you can tell what like the meat is gonna taste. And then they don't put any sauce on it. They just like literally, the sauce is next to you. So you can put as much or as little as you want. Um, and so far, I like really like it. Here. Can we get a super nacho over here? Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, yeah. Guys, look at these nachos. They look insane. All right, we uh, demolished those nachos. Okay, so we finished up uh, the food spot at OMC Smokehouse. So amazing. And right across the street is this ice cream spot. So we decided to stop. Um, they have seasonal flavors. And so we got the blueberry cheesecake and then a coconut almond chocolate one. Yep. It's basically like an almond joy. Um, and they let us try it first. And then this is the small, you guys. That's crazy. It's huge. So yummy. It's like my bicep. <laughs> what do you think, Nick? It's so good. I think it's a little bit hard because it's um, it's like kind of tricky to get to the actual ice cream right now because we're trying to just like massage it. But super, super yummy. Cute little town, fun little day out of the campsite. And uh, yeah. We raided the barbecue spot. It was a smokehouse, um, like a nine. Yeah, so we got the nachos and the nachos we rated 10 out of 10. The nachos were super phenomenal. Super good. Um, the sandwich we got was like okay. I think we both kind of rated it like a seven. We like, put yeah, sauce on it, and when we put the sauce on, I would say it bumped it up to like an eight. Yeah. About. Um, didn't have like a ton of flavor by itself though, which is always, I think, kind of a letdown when it comes to barbecue stuff. But pretty good regardless. The fries we had with it were not very good. They were kind of like packing peanuts. They were like too, yeah, they were just not great. So not very like our favorite, but overall the meal kind of like came out to about a nine. It was, it was pretty good. And it, like 95% of that was because of the nachos. Also I got a lemonade and the lemonade was really yummy too. So nine and then the ice cream spot, we went in and I think both of us were like, eh, I don't really know how this is gonna be. Yeah, because our last ice cream experience was pretty, pretty bad. Very bad. Um, so this time we went in, got a waffle cone, which we were not able to get in the last one. We got two flavors of ice cream that we were able to taste test before we committed, which was always really nice. Um, and they were fantabulous. They were so good. Yeah, we get either of those again in a heartbeat. They were so yummy. And even together, like, they, they kind of really like merged good. in the middle and became something spectacular glorious so yeah um we're heading back to the campground now i have a bunch of work stuff to do so we can't really explore today um but whenever we get a chance to explore duluth you'll know yeah okay so we've been at this campground oh my gosh nick that was so loud and scary we've been at this campground the last two days we went into duluth yesterday and we're gonna stay at a harvest house tonight um, main takeaways, Nick, what'd you think of this spot? It's okay. Um, it's definitely not my favorite campsite. It's been fine. The bathrooms are not super close, which is not super ideal. The showers were not very clean. Um, there's bugs, a lot of bugs. Um, Starling doesn't super work, so it's definitely not our favorite, but it was kind of nice to be in another campsite. We saw a little waterfall yesterday, which was kind of cool, so it was okay. I'd give it like a six and a half out of ten. So, it was okay. Not ideal. But now I think we're going into Duluth. Or, if any, we're going to Quick Trip to get donuts. That's what I know. We made it to Duluth. So we were at, like, 
um, we're not like quite in the city of Duluth. We're just outside in like the harbor. So this is Duluth Harbor. They have a cute little lighthouse over there. Another cute little lighthouse over there. Another cute lighthouse over there. <laughs> and then we drove on this side of Duluth, which is just like the harbor town. Basically they have a couple parks and we drove down to the end and then drove back. And now we're gonna go check out the lighthouses and probably the little museum thing that they have right there. So. Yeah, that's Duluth right over there. You can see all the big buildings. And we're just like in the middle of the lake. This is Lake Superior. Kind of looks like the ocean, which is a little weird. Just like Lake Michigan did, but Lake Superior is even larger. And look at these cute little lighthouses, you guys. We're gonna go check them both. This is so fun. Yeah. All right, we just got out of the museum. Nick's gonna tell you about it. Yeah, so the museum, um, we're, if you haven't noticed this before, we're not huge museum people, so we go rather quickly. Um, but this museum had quite a bit of stuff, which was kind of fun. So we wandered around, it was a lot of history about the port here for Lake Superior. Especially this. Especially this, the bridge. Um, it actually just raised, which we'll probably put a clip in that. But anyways, it was a pretty cool museum. Um, we didn't, like I said, explore a ton, but they had lots of cool ships and boat what models. What else did they have in there? And they had some engines for some old boats. They had like a little steering wheel that you could go and uh, pretend you're a captain, which was kind of fun. Okay, everybody, we made it to the other side. So as you can see, there's the other lighthouse. And here's this one. This one's obviously way older. It's actually, you're not allowed. They talked a lot about not going in on the other side of it. Not going in? Yeah. On this? Uh -huh. Like into this? Uh -huh. Oh. What are your really? thoughts? What do, you, what do you think? Which one do you like better? This one's way less busy, probably because it's a little you have to like, around the edges. But... You also have to like cross the bridge to get over here. But it was cool. It was a fun little walk. Um, yeah, and now we're just chilling. There's like a cute little beach over there. I like it. What do you think? Guys, doesn't she look so good? <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice. I like the Great Lakes. I didn't really know what to expect, but I'm, I'm digging it. I'm curious on how long we spend in Minnesota. Me too. Guys, you can see it lifted way higher this time because there's, it looks like that uh, tour boat is coming out. And so they have to lift it way higher. Okay, so we left Duluth um, and we decided to drive on the north shore of the lake and we're heading to Split Rock Lighthouse um, and we just drove through a tunnel and this is just like a cute little overlook spot um, before we carry on and head all the way to the lighthouse and it's so pretty! So the sky is a little bit weird today so you can barely tell where the water and this. Okay, so this is the lookout point. I'll look down here. Step on this rock. It's pretty beautiful. This is, Nick and I were just talking about this. This is kind of what we were expecting of Acadia. So it's kind of funny that we're seeing this in Minnesota. Look at that, you guys. Okay, we made it to Split Rock. Um, it's $12 a person if you want to go inside the lighthouse. And if you just want to do the grounds, it's $8. And in our research, like we got here and stuff, connected to the Wi-Fi, and realized that there's a, another state park literally just down the road, and you actually get a view of the lighthouse on the cliff. So we're actually heading there right now. Um, instead of spending like 20 bucks here, which is like not a bad deal. Um, it's just kind of expensive, and we want to see it um, without paying. So it's really beautiful up here though really cool state park. We just finished up working, doing some stuff. We are at a state park just north, question mark, of Split, Split Rock Lighthouse. Is that what it's called? Yep. 
We are going to go on a walk, hike to some waterfalls, and then afterwards we're going back to Split Rock to see the lighthouse from the beach area. And then we'll head to where we're staying tonight, which is like an hour and a half away, actually back where Duluth is. We just heard that this is really cool, so we decided to come and see it. Um, and we just have to fill up the water bottle because it's about a three mile hike. According to all trails, it's super chill. It's like 2.9 miles and basically no eleva elevation gain. So, yeah. Oh, cool. So. Okay, we made it to the waterfall. Only downside. Lots of bugs. No, we didn't bring any swimsuits. That's oh. the downside. Oh. So okay. And lots of bugs. Nick got eaten a lot on the walkover. But it's pretty. Second waterfall. We're getting eaten alive by bugs. It's basically like 200 stairs down. And we were just being like destroyed by mosquitoes. We got down there and it wasn't quite as cool as the other one. So we decided not to stay. So now we have to go back into the realm of mosquitoes. How are you feeling, Nick? I think I'm done with the mosquitoes. So we're almost done with our hike. Probably about a quarter mile left. Um, so many freaking mosquitoes. I think we need to invest probably in some bug spray. I swear, all things holy. Anyways, so basically the whole time back, we've been like running back to the car because we're getting eaten alive. Okay, back at Split Rock Lighthouse area. Um, we are at the Pebble Beach vibe. I don't know where to go. We're trying to see if we can see the lighthouse from the beach area. Or if we have to go down a little bit further. We're not really sure. So we're gonna go. Well dang, this is picturesque. What? We, oh, we checked in and they said that it's this random trail, so we're gonna try and see if it is. If it's not, I don't freaking know where the lighthouse is. Tyler's gonna be sad. I keep getting eaten by some mosquitoes. We just need to buy bug spray, probably. Yeah. I'm really hoping that it's just here. Oh, yeah, low, low. That was better. Okay, we walked like 20 steps and we found it. Woohoo! We're also getting eaten by mosquitoes right now, but it's fine because we got the shot. Nick! <laughs> Look how clear the water is, you guys. It's so majestic. We're gonna see the lighthouse again soon. I can feel it. So we're surrounded by all this pretty water. And then there's the lighthouse. Hey guys, it's a super pretty butterfly. Wow. Okay y'all, we're getting ready to leave, so say goodbye to the lighthouse. Bye lighthouse! <laughs> Nick's gonna tell you his thoughts first on uh, this whole ordeal that we have gone through today. Well, it only took us all day, um, but we finally made it to the reason why we actually came up here, and that was for this shot. So after much trial, tribulation, and many bug bites, um, we finally Turn made it. You got a lot. But don't my calves look so good? Like I must. You're jacked out of your mind. So we finally made it here, and Pebble Beach is pretty dope. So Pebble Beach is over here. It's really serene, really calming. I think, it'd be, I think it'd be super nice if there wasn't as many bugs, but you can't, if you stand around for too long, the bugs just kind of swarm you, so you have to kind of keep moving. So that's the only downside. I definitely prefer this over the waterfall hike that we did, because there were just so many mosquitoes. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. 
I look a little bit like an egg today. So all the pictures that we've taken, I do not feel very confident or good in, but that's okay because we have this really dope shot. It is really pretty, but she also looks like an angel. So everybody comment that she looks like an angel because she does. Okay, so we passed this spot on our way to the state parks. It's called Betty's Pie. Um, it says it has famous homemade pies, and we love pies. So we're going to go in and uh, let you know if it's worth it. Okay, we just had a burger that we demolished in about two seconds. Um, and now we're having a caramel apple crumbly top pie. How is it, Nick? And there's some ice cream with it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to set this down so I can at least eat some. Can we finish the pie? Um, phenomenal, 10 out of 10. Would eat that a million times over. Nick's just finishing up the ice cream. What do you think? It was delicious. One of the best apple pies I've ever had. So yummy, you guys. And they have all of these, it's like the end of the day, so they're closing in like 30 minutes and they still have all these pies. Kind of fun. Hey y'all, Betty's Pie. Betty's Pies. Would, oh, Betty's Pies would definitely recommend going. So good. Food was pretty good. Um, the burger was great and the pie, phenomenal. So if you're north shore of Lake Superior, why was that so hard for me? If you're, <laughs> if you are in the north shore of Lake Superior, um, highly recommend.